Coach Morris, thank you so much for sitting down with us. You've been part of the UIW family now for roughly seven months. How are you liking San Antonio so far? It's been awesome. So I uh, work with great people each and every day. A great environment that uh, this university has too. Great workplace. So uh, I'm excited to come to work every day. Coach Morris, excited to now be the leader of a Division I program, enters the 2018 season with a lot of experience. Before becoming a Cardinal, he spent five seasons in Lubbock, Texas as the offensive coordinator at Texas Tech. Well, I can't just be excited about the offense anymore, so uh, it, it's been an adjustment for me, um, you know, not to just cheer for the offense during practice at times just because I'm so used to doing that, but uh, so just, just Overall, um, I get happy when the defense makes plays now. Uh, special teams is a lot more important to me. Um, what they do off the field is a lot more important to me, what they do in the classroom. So uh, just the overall approach as opposed to just focusing into one unit, one group. Morris learned to care about all aspects of coaching by reaching out to mentors and by talking to former colleagues in the industry. Those discussions are what have helped him build a blueprint on how to be a head coach. Just try to take all those experiences, things you've learned from different coaches. I've been blessed to be around a lot of great coaches. And uh, I feel like I've pulled some of their positive qualities from, from each and every one of them. You know, some of the stuff I love, Coach Sumlin, what he did. Uh, coach Kingsbury, the same thing, and, and some from Mike Leach. So just pull some of their, their positive things they do and try to implement that into your program. So I've called them numerous times over the summer. I think they're tired of talking to me. And so uh, right now they're in the middle of camp as well. And so they're focusing on their own team. So I tried to get all my questions answered this summer when I knew they would answer my phone calls or, or answer my text back. So uh, now we're off and running and, and we're heavy in with just our program. What's the biggest piece of advice they've given you? Oh, just to keep your head down and, and and keep working hard, you know, do what you do well. That's what got you to this point so far. Uh, don't deviate from that. Um, and to stay positive. Um, these kids see how you react to everything, especially as a leader. And so um, you can't get too high or too low. You gotta be consistent. So um, try, to, try to take those words and, and put them into to what I do every day. You mentioned staying positive. I know we touched on it a minute ago, but inheriting a team that won one game last season, how do you plan to improve going into the 2018 season? Yeah, and so, you know, we, we haven't talked about that. We don't talk about winning or losing at all. Um, we're just focusing on the little things and getting better each and every day. And so these kids have done a phenomenal job coming in and working uh, hard for us, buying into what the coaches are selling. Um, and at the same point, our coaches have done a great job at, at really building relationships with these kids. I think if you have a strong relationship with, with young uh, student athletes, then they will, they will believe in you, number one, and, and they'll fight a little bit harder for you. And so. Uh, Coach has done a phenomenal job building relationships, so uh, everybody's on the same page and, and we're all moving the right direction. While the number of wins won't define UIW in year one under Coach Morris, it's about building that strong team bond to get every unit better. Defensively, I think Coach Thiessen does a great job of, of stopping the run, and so our defensive front seven has, has been really a, a bright surprise so far in camp, our defensive line and our linebackers. Um, we have a bunch of young DBs, and so uh, those coaches on the back end uh, have their work cut out for them, just bringing these new guys along uh, really fast. And, and then on offense, I think that, uh, that our offensive line and our wide receivers are, are people that we're going to look at to, to make plays for us this year, both in the running game and the passing game. Even though there are several new variables going into a new season with a new coach, the message is simple. I respect everyone and fear no one. Um, you know, we have to respect every team we play. Uh, we have a bunch of great opponents coming up and can't take anybody lightly, and, uh, but fear no one at the same time. There's no way that we can step on the field and not believe to win and, and, and go out there and win. So there's no hoping, there's no wishing, no, no wishy-washy thinking right now. I mean, we're gonna step on the field that first day with intensity, with a look in our eye that, uh, that we're gonna go win the football game. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.